Okay, welcome to the course unit 5 or the week 5 topic wherein we're going to talk about the camera, the parts of the camera, the technicalities on it. So we will enumerate and describe the different types of camera, the essential parts of camera, accessories, and controls of the camera. So mas magandang pag-aralan to if meron kayong digital or DSLR dyan, single lens reflex, or kung meron kayong analog camera. Kung wala naman, we, I provided a video for you to um, explore or para makita nyo kung ano nga ba yung mga parts ng ating mga camera. So, what is a camera? So, a camera is a light tight box with the means of forming an image, with the means of holding a sensitized material, with the means of regulating the amount of light that enters the camera at a given tight time. So, uh, ang tinutukoy niyang camera dito is a analog camera kasi meron siyang sensitized material. What if, ma'am, digital yan? So, meron tayong digital image sensor. So, wherein it is capable of recording the images that enters in the lens. So, it is an optical instrument that records images that can be stored directly, transmitted to another location or both. So, these images may be still photographs or moving images such as videos or movies. Okay. So, this is a, a video about the anatomy of camera on how does a camera works. So, let's watch this one. In this video, we are going to look at the anatomy of a camera. The purpose of a camera is to capture light and record the image. In order to capture an image clearly, a light-proof camera body is required. This ensures that only the light that is wanted will enter the camera in order to be recorded. Inside this light-proof body, there is a light-sensitive sensor or piece of film. This sensor will react to light when it enters the camera, recording the information and producing an image. A lens is attached to the front of the body of the camera. This allows the light entering the camera to be controlled. The light is focused by the lens to create a sharp, upside-down image on the sensor. The lens also houses the aperture, which is made up of blades that can open wider or smaller to let more or less light through the lens. The final piece is the shutter, which is a fast-moving mechanical curtain that completely blocks light from coming from the lens to the sensor. The shutter can open rapidly to allow light to hit the sensor for the desired amount of time. These mechanical pieces work together to create a proper image. We will go into more depth on each individual piece in future videos. Thanks for joining me today, and please check out our other church technology resources available. So that is the uh, anatomy of camera. As you can see, meron siyang lens, the body, meron din siyang shutter, and the aperture. So lahat yan iisa-isahin natin mamaya. Yung kaninang pinanood yung video, it just uh, simply explains on how does a camera record an image. Okay? Ano bang pinagkaiba ng image sa photograph? Photograph, these are the printed materials or images. Images, these are the uh, parang LCD or parang pinaka-save or pinaka-picture na nakikita natin. Okay, kapag na-print na yan, ang tawag natin photograph. But kapag soft copy yan, ang tawag natin ay image or yung parang nakikita lang natin through our eyes. So, we have the early forms of camera. So, so some of this ay alam nyo na, like the pinhole camera and the camera obscura. So, ang pin up, buto na tayo punta sa may box camera. So, a box camera is a simple camera, little more than a pinhole camera. So, ang parang miniature lang to ng pinhole camera. That is the box camera. Diyo tayo. View camera. Itong nasa right side niya, ito yung parang pinak parang film. Lagyan ko ng pointer. Okay, ito. This is the view camera. View camera is the biggest and most sophisticated among different types of camera. So, this is a version of a press camera. They have removable lenses which can be focused by moving either the front or rear of the camera. And are equipped with long bellows. Ito yan. 
Kasi ito yung parang pinaka nagiging um, film plane niya and lens plane niya. So, the back can be moved or swing both vertical and horizontal axis and its lens board raise, lowered or trip. So, this flexibility enables the photographer to control the image formed by the lens, practically useless for candid or action photography, however, useful in the reproduction of small objects. So, ang view camera, galing lang siya dito. Nakikita niyo ba to? Ito. Ito ay isang example ng press camera. So, a camera loaded with a sheet film. They are traditional of folding bellows film and designed with a lens standard in extendable baseboard. It can also be loaded with roll of 70mm film, magazines, and often coupled with range finders. So, meron tayong ganyan type of camera. As of now, meron pa rin naman ganyan, pero hindi na po nila ginagamit. Vintage na sila. Next. Ayan. So, another types of camera, the reflex camera. Again, kapag nakita nyo yung meaning ng SLR, okay, di ba meron tayong digital or DSLR? Meron din po tayong analog. Okay, basta one single lens reflex lang siya, SLR yon. So, single lens reflex camera, the term single lens means that only one, eto lang, isa lang ang lens na ginagamit nila, which is used for both viewing the scene and taking photograph of it, thereby preventing parallax. Ma, meron po bang analog na uh, SLR? Yes, meron po. Kaya lang siya nagiging S, uh, kaya lang siya nagiging SLR kasi nga isang lens lang ang ginagamit nila. Pero kapag ang camera is parang ganito. Ayun, have you seen any one of this? This is an example of twin lens reflex camera, camera or tinatawag nilang TLR. Okay? Dalawang lens naman ang ginagamit nila dito. Ayun. So hindi siya katulad ng normal camera na kita niyo na isa lang. Okay, so this is TLR or Twin Lens Reflex Camera. It employs two separate lenses. Ayan, one for viewing and one for focusing. And the second usually mounted under the first transmit the light to the focal plane for recording. So the camera has permanently fixed lenses and an auto automatic parallax adjustment. Its two lenses focus in unison so that the top of screen shows the image sharpness and framing as recorded on the film in the lower section. So, ngayon, madalang lang makakita ng ganito. Madalas, ang meron lang tayo is the single lens reflex camera or yung SLR. Ang SLR can be both digital and analog or yung gumagamit pa ng film. Next, we have Polaroid steel camera o yung ginagamit natin na Instax, di ba? This camera is restricted its uses but is ideal in instant photograph when there is no requirement for enlargement. Meron din tayo ng mga underwater camera o yung it is designed for underwater photography, di ba? Kaya nga, di ba, uh, meron tayong mga videos noon wherein pinapakita nila yung sa underwater or yung mga coral reefs, ganyan, or yung mga isda. Kahit wala pa naman tayong GoPro noon, di ba? Nagkaroon rin tayo ng panoramic camera. Panoramic, have you ever tried yung panorama setting in your uh, cellphone? Camera ng cellphone nyo? Di ba, meron tayong panorama. Okay? So, this is used for landscaping photography. Pag sinabi nating landscaping photography, we are capable of capturing uh, in a landscape mode or yung pahaba. Diba? It is easy to use by encompassing 120 degree to 180 degree, 360 view of one exposure. That is panoramic camera. You can capture a single uh, landscape mode. Ayan. Then we also have still video camera. Images can be stored on video tapes equipment with a flap with this a disc that can hold about 50 images or more. And the last one is the compact camera. Ito yung maliit nang. This is a camera which have appropriate dimensions for putting them into the pocket of a jacket instead of special camera bag. Yung compact camera, katulad lang yun ng mga, alam niyo yung Digicam noon, bago pa nauso yung mga DSLR. Di ba meron tayong Digicam? Nagkaroon ba kayo ng ganoon? Yung, nila, yung maliit lang siya, pero digital camera siya. So, that is um, an example of compact camera. Kasi, yung lens niya is built-in na siya agad sa mismong camera. 
So, paano nga ba? Now, let's start now with the film camera or yung tinatawag nating analog camera. Nakakita na ba kayo ng ganito? Hello? Yes, ma'am. Sa school nyo, merong ganito. ba? Diba? So, how a film SLR camera works. So, paano nga ba? Let's watch this one. Explanation. Nakikita nyo ba to yung parang pinaka, ayan, yung pinaka parang triangle na merong square or rectangle. That is what we call pentaprism. Responsible para mag-reflect yung pinaka image sa taas. Kaya kung makikita nyo, di ba, nasa gitna yung lens. Pero bakit yung mismong image, ma'am, nakikita namin sa taas, hindi sila pantay? Kasi they use mirror and the pentaprism para makita natin yung image sa taas. So, let's continue. So, that's how the uh, film camera works. So, meron din siyang uh, tanatawag na shutter. Katulad lang din ng anatomy ng camera kanina. Ang pinagkaiba kasi nung unang pinakita kong video, that is a digital uh, anatomy of camera. Dito, that is an analog camera wherein ha, wala silang uh, digital sensor. So, anong nangyari? Once na nag-open yung shutter, mararecord yung mismong uh, image doon sa film. So, we have four essential parts of a analog camera. Okay, meron tayong four essential parts of an analog camera. Number one, we have the body. Number two is the lens, film holder, and the shutter. So, let's start first with the body. So, what is the body? A body is a light type box that serves as an unbending structures on which every single other part are mounted Furthermore, to serve to shield the film from introduction to light aside from during the time spent taking the photo. The body is for the most part made out of hard plastic and light metal. Yung body, ito na piece mo yung pinaka uh, hinahawak natin. Diba? Yung lalagyanan mismo ng film, lalagyanan mismo ng lahat ng mga parts. Yun ang pinaka body. So, that is one essential part of the anal analog camera. Next, syempre, we have the lens. So, what are the lens, diba? Lens is a type of plastic or glass. And in more expound camera, its lens is comprised of a few bit of glass mounted in chamber called the lens barrel. Nakakita naman na kayo siguro ng lens, diba? Ng camera. So, the lens has its light assembling force and it's shown by the F numbers or yung focal numbers natin or relative opening which is typically stamped on the lens barrel. Mamaya makita nyo naman yung lens. And after ng prelims, pag-uusapan natin yan, yung lens na yan. Lenses with low F numbers have generally high light assembling power and are known as the quick lenses. Meron din kasi tayong tinatawag na... Slow lens and fast lens. While lens with high F numbers have low lighting assemble, assembling power and called the moderate lenses. Tingnan nyo. The light assembling force of most camera lenses is controlled by the method for a stomach. So the stomach looks like the iris of an eye. Okay. At the point when the stomach is broadly open, it permits a greatest light to go into it. At the point when someone somewhat shot, it diminishes the measure of the light that go into it. Since shutting the stomach decreases the light, assembling force of the lens, it has the impact of abating the lens and in this manner, expanding its F number. So, isang part po ng ating lens is yung tinatawag nating aperture. Mamaya, makikita nyo ano, ano ang itsura ng aperture. That is what we call the lens opening. 
uh, responsible for zooming in or zooming out or paano gaano kalaki or gaano kalaw, kaliit yung pinaka or papasukan ng light. Kasi without that aperture, hindi natin mamamessure kung ilang or how many amount of light yung papasok sa ating camera. So, that is the lens. Kung makikita niya dito, sabi niya, lenses with low F numbers or your focal numbers have generally high light assembling power. Ano siya, di ba? Uh, very um, logic na naman. Baligtad na naman siya, ma'am. Yes. Uh, ang focal numbers kasi, ito yung pinaka-sukat ng yung aperture. Sabi niya, kapag ang sukat ng aperture mo or yung F number nyo is uh, low or mababa, therefore, mas malaki daw yung papasok na Alin, mas malaki daw yung papasok na light. Kapag naman daw ang F number nyo, okay, is mataas, mas maliit naman yung papasok na light. So, don't you worry if hindi nyo masyadong mag itong mga focal numbers or apertures kasi wala pa tayo sa lenses. Uh, Mapag-uusapan din natin yan kapag dumating na ang midterms. And the next essential part of the analog camera is the film holder. Ito yan. Kung lalagyan na ng ating mga film. So, it holds the film setup at the camera's back. It is configuration to hold the film level so that the picture delivered by the lens will be sharp over the entire picture territory. In most move film cameras, the film compartment is put into the camera's back and in spring mounted weight plate placed in the back front of the camera this weight plate keeps the film level all over the photo region opening so ito yung film holder natin this is where we can put the film for the analog camera and the last one this is the shutter so hindi nyo pa alam ang alam nyo yan sigurado ako is the shutter button tama mali diba pag sinabing shutter ma'am ito po yung pinipun, pinipindot para mag take ng picture Shutter button lang yon para mag-open siya. Pero, ang pinaka-shutter natin, ayun, sa nasa mismong camera natin. So, I will just discuss first. Shutter is a device that allows light, okay, to pass for a determined period, exposing photographic film or a light-sensitive electronic sensor to light in order to capture a permanent image of the scene. Kasi yung shutter natin, kaya niya sinabi niya, determined period, ang shutter natin merong counts. Okay? Di nyo tignan yung mga camera nyo. Punta kayo kapag doon sa mismong parang HDR, sabi niya ganyan, or parang... Um, Ano kasing tawag doon sa camera na yon Yung pinaka, ano, ng camera natin, wherein we can uh, go with the settings of the... yon punta kayo doon sa camera pro. Makikita nyo doon yung S, sabi niya. Shutter yon Okay? Seconds yon Kung ilang seconds siya tatagal. Or uh, ilang uh, part of a second siya mag-open. Kasi yung mga shutter natin, merong timer yan. Okay? So, ito siya. Let's watch this one kung saan talaga yung shutter. When you take a picture, you'll hear this sound. Didn't sound like much, but actually quite a lot just happened there. And you'll notice that in the viewfinder, your vision was blocked for a very split second. So, the only way we're going to see what actually happens is by taking off the lens, zooming the phantom in, and filming shutter. this sa loob at a ridiculously camera. high frame rate. We'll start with a 30th of a second. Now you're looking at the mirror, which is in front of the shutter. When I press down the button, the mirror flips up out of the way and temporarily blocks the viewfinder. Then the shutter comes down, whoosh! Now light is exposing on the sensor, and then the shutter closes again, followed by the mirror Para coming back window, down, no? so you can diba? see through the viewfinder again. As you can see from that clip, this camera has a mechanical shutter that moves out of the way and allows light to hit the sensor. A very fundamental part of photography is the duration of your exposure. It has very different effects on the image. And you can control that with the shutter speed. For example, a relatively long exposure of say two seconds. Two seconds, yeah, ting nanya. Would give you a bright yeah. image, but the anything that has something to do with the time. Would have a trail of motion or duration. So not ideal for filming a fast-moving subject. For a very fast-moving subject, you would want a much shorter shutter duration. The fastest this camera will do it is an eight thousandth of a second, which looks like this. So now what we'll do is we'll use the phantom to film different shutter speeds of the camera and see how they all compare to each other in slow motion. 
Honestly, these are probably going to look identical in real time, but we'll definitely be able to see the difference in slow-mo. So we'll start with a 500th of a second. So it's no more lang niya, pero 500 part of the second yon. Wala man isang segundo. A two thousandth of a second. Four thousandth of a second. And an eight thousandth of a second. Kung mapapansin nyo dun sa mismong video, okay, habang tumataas siya, 500 part of the second, sabi niya, 600 part of the second, habang tumataas yun or bumibilis siya, lalong lumiliit yung shutter opening. Diba? Mas lalong lumiliit. Kasi nga, mas bumibilis lang yung pag-take uh, ng picture. Tignan nyo, gagawin niyang slow mo nyan to. Let's have a look at the four yeah, fastest ones side by side just to see the comparison. Tignan nyo yung ano, shutter opening. Diba sabay-sabay lang naman siya? Pero bakit ba sinasabing mas mabilis yung isa? Kasi nasa shutter opening niya kung gaano siya kaliit. Para pumasok yung light. This kind of stuff is fascinating to me. It makes me wonder how. So that is the shutter. So yung nakikita nyo shutter button, that is responsible for opening the shutter. Again, when we say the shutter, it allows the light to pass for a determined period of time. Kasi kailangan na meron siyang speed. Hindi natin alam kung 1 second ba yan, uh, tawag dito, 2 seconds ba, or 5 seconds, or just a part of a 1 second. Diba? If you can see, in-explain din niya dun sa video kanina, okay, the more na mas uh, mabagal, okay, the more na mas mabagal yung ating, uh, or I mean, the more na mas matagal yung shutter speed mo. For example, um, for example, ang shutter speed mo is 5 seconds. Ibig sabihin, mabagal siya nun. Diba? Matagal siyang naka-open. Therefore, inaalaw natin na mas madaming light ang pumapasok. Ngayon, kapag ang shutter speed mo naman is, for example, part of a second lang, 500 part of a second, ibig sabihin, malit na lang yung shutter opening mo. Therefore, mabilisan lang din ang pasok ng light. So, laging reverse yan. Makikita, din, makikita nyo din yung pinaka, pag pinag-usapan na natin yung mga three pillars of the photography, yung paglalaroan nyo na yung camera nyo mismo sa cellphone nyo, doon nyo marirealize yung very, uh, ano pala ang camera, or very logic siya na reverse siya lahat kapag shutter opening for the shutter speed. Ganyan. So, let's continue. So, those are the four essential parts of the analog camera. Again, is there anyone who can recite it? The four, uh, what are the four essential parts of the analog camera? Anyone? Yes? Yes, uh, Michael Collin. What are the four uh, essential parts of Lens. the analog camera? Lens. 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 Shutter. Shutter. Uh, Film holder. Film holder and last one. Body. Body. Okay, apat lang yan. Body, lens, um, film holder, and the shutter. Okay, let's continue. So, this is the basic parts of 35mm SLR film camera. So, ibibigyan ko muna kayo ng preview. Para kapag napanood na natin to, tapos nag-discuss tayo, eh hindi na kayo masyadong mahihirapan. So, watch this first. Kung meron kayong camera, mas maganda. Sabi nga niya, if possible, watch this video with your camera. Pero kung wala, just uh, stick with this para makita nyo lang yung mismong analog camera. The purpose of this movie is to go through some of the basic parts to the 35mm SLR film camera. Uh, and this camera that I'm using is a fully manual Nikon camera. It's a Nikon FM2. 
kind of a, a workhorse. Uh, it's all metal construction. It'll last a long time. You can buy these used online. Uh, I happen to really like this camera. Uh, let's go through some of the parts though. Uh, does it have an on and off switch? That's a good question. Um, the answer is yes and no. It has a way to ensure that the meter, the light meter, which draws battery power, uh, will not come on, and that is by pressing the film advance lever in. So when the film advance lever is folded in like so, so that is film then advance the meter lever. won't come on, and right. there's one other you know advantage what? to having, to considering that an off position, uh, which is when it's folded in, you can no longer trip the shutter. So you couldn't accidentally make a picture. You couldn't accidentally the shutter uh, as long as that is folded in. So that will function as our on and off switch, but it's also the film advanced lever. Uh, every time you make a picture, you have to advance the film and trip the shutter again. Yeah. Let's talk about the, the two main components of the camera, which are the lens and the camera body. A uh, 35 millimeter SLR film camera should uh, be able to take interchangeable lenses, so you can choose lenses of different focal lengths. Uh, right now I have a wide angle lens on here, uh, but I'm going to take this off. There's usually a button somewhere uh, to press and to so this is a uh, basic lens. It's a fixed focal length lens, which means it doesn't have any uh, zoom capability. Uh, you can't you can't um, change the focal length of it from wide to narrow. Uh, the the main thing about the lens is that it is where the aperture is. Uh, the aperture is the adjustable opening in the lens that yeah, allows light into the camera then. body uh, so you can expose your film. Again, the and aperture is camera, located uh, inside the lens. Hopefully you can see there's an aperture ring, which is this thing here. You see numbers and you see a dot that can line up to different apertures. And those apertures have different sizes. Uh, that's what it means for them to be adjustable. And if I turn it like so, hopefully you'll be able to see as I open and close the lens, uh, yeah, choosing either a small yeah. aperture or a large aperture to let in more light. Uh, so that's how that works. Uh, the lens is also on uh, on this camera. It's how you focus your your image. And here's a focus ring, so you can focus from near to far, making it either blurry or sharp, or focusing in on whatever you consider your Iba ang uh, main focus part of your subject. Sa aperture ring. So I'm going to put this back on the camera. Uh, to put a lens back on the camera, there's every different ma camera manufacturer has a different sort of lens mount, uh, and you should become Nasa familiar with yours. In this case, I just see a black Mirror dot there and a white dot there, which I can line up and snap the lens uh, back onto the camera. All right, so let's move on to the camera body itself. Uh, every camera will have a lens with adjustable apertures and also uh, the ability to control the shutter speed. The shutter is the device in the camera body that opens and closes to allow light to get to the film plane. So light will pass through the lens and then there's a shutter. There's, uh, there's one more thing it has to pass through to get to the film plane. The film plane is just behind uh, this rear door and there's a shutter in front of it that will open and close to allow the film to actually be exposed. So the, the lens controls uh, the intensity of the light coming through based on the aperture size uh, and then the shutter controls how long that exposure uh, is allowed to happen. The shutter adjustment on a manual camera is usually right on a dial uh, here and it's a dial that shows numbers, displays different numbers and these numbers are typically fractions of a second. Um, so when I set this to 60 like it's set right now that means 1 60th of a second so the shutter will open for 1 60th of a second and then close again if i change it to two it'll open for half a second and then close again if i change it to one in this case one means one full second uh, typically you'll have a setting called b on your camera and and b means that the shutter will remain open for as long as you hold your finger down on the shutter release button or maybe use a cable release so you can do Meron ka din kasi makikita doon na B sabi niya. Yung inexplain niya noon is yun din tawag nating bulb method. Okay? Yung bulb method na yon, hindi siya uh, tawag dito magko-close. 
yung hindi magko-close yung camera, yung pinaka-shutter mo unless binitawan mo yung shutter button. Ganun siya. So nakita niyo yung shutter button yung parang pinaka-silver. Yan yung pinaka-silver, ayan. Kapag na-click niya yan, kapag naka-bulb method yung ating shutter speed, 'di ba? Yun yung shutter speed dial natin. Nilagay mo siya dun sa letter B. Meron kasing letter B, mamaya ipapakita ko yung letter B na yon. So kapag nilagay mo siya doon, ang mangyayari, hindi, 'di ba kung nakita niyo sa video, yung mga shutter natin kanina, para siyang window na nag-o-open and close. So kapag sabi nga natin, sinet natin yan ng 1 second, after 1 second magko-close na siya. Kapag naman nilagay natin dun sa B mode na yon or yung bulb mode na yon hindi siya magko-close unless, okay? Unless alisin natin yung pagka-click natin doon sa mismong silver button. For example, okay? For example, ay uh, nag ano tayo, nag-set tayo ng shutter speed na 5 seconds. Siyempre, pagka-click mo na dito sa pinaka-silver na yan, 'di ba? Pag na-click mo na siyang ganyan minsanan, kahit alisin mo na yung kamay mo, magko-close yung shutter niya within 5 seconds. 'Di ba? Hindi naman auto, hindi naman kailangan na hindi naman kailangan na kahawak tayo doon within 5 seconds eh. Magko-close siya within that 5 seconds. Pero kapag naka-bulb mode ka, hindi siya magko-close unless, okay? Hindi siya magko-close unless inalis mo na yung finger mo dito sa ating shutter button. 'Yun yung ine-explain niya kanina. Let's continue do long exposures. Uh, also, you might notice on your camera that one shutter speed has a, is displayed in a different color or it's got some sort of indication uh, to show that it's unique in some way. And what that is, uh, is the, the shutter speed, the fastest shutter speed you can use when shooting flash photography with that particular camera. Um, you can go into more detail on that at, at another time. But that's how the, the shutter speed is, is selected. And if you listen uh, to what a half of a second sounds like, you can hear it open, you can hear it close. When you get to, to a thousandth of a second or something, it just sounds like one, one sound. Uh, so, so that's how you control the shutter. Uh, and I'm gonna show you now uh, what the shutter looks like in action. And to do that, I have to open the camera back and on some cameras, and this camera has a, a camera back lock lever. And this is a safety mechanism uh, to prevent you from, or prevent the, back, prevent the back of the camera from opening when you don't want it to. Because if you open the back of the camera, you expose your film. So usually most cameras, the, the way you open the back is you tug up on this knob here, which is the film rewind knob. Uh, but in this case, I can't tug up on it. That's an indication that I shouldn't force it, that there's something else I need to do. And it might be difficult to see, but there's a small tab here, a lever, that I need to pull down simultaneously while I Camera pull this up. Lock, yeah. And then I can tug it a little further and the back will open. And there you can see uh, the shutter immediately. Uh, that's this little window right here. And the shutter is a part of the camera you never want to touch. Uh, it can be quite fragile depending on what kind of a camera it is what kind of a camera it is. Uh, so never touch that. Uh, sometimes people ask, you say, video can touch parang window? That's this pressure shop. plate? Um, there's no reason to touch it, but it's, it's, not, uh, it's not as critical that you don't touch that as it is that you don't touch uh, the shutter. So this is just a film plate, a, uh, a pressure plate to hold the film flat when your film is loaded in there. But let's get back to the shutter and show you what it looks like when it opens and closes. I'll go to one second this time and that's what happens. So the light comes through the lens of the camera and then allows you allow it to come through that open shutter and the film is lying across there so that that's how you make your exposure. Anything else about this? Let's see, shutter release button, no. So I'm gonna close this up and I'll do another film on loading the camera uh, in a little while so you can see that. Okay, so we have shutter, shutter selection uh, another adjustment you need to know about on your camera is how to set the ISO. Uh, the ISO is an indication of the, 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 sensitive, the, the light sensitivity of the film you're using. Ano nga yung mga ISO, ASA, tsaka yung DIN? What do you call that? Ano yung mga yun? Di ba pinag-aralan natin yun last week? What are those ISO, ASA, DIN? 
Yun yung mga tinatawag nating what? Film speed indicator. Kung gaano kabilis magre-react yung light sa mismong film nyo. So, merong part itong camera wherein kailangan, for example, ang ginamit mong film is ASA 100 or ISO 100. Kailangan itong analog camera, e eh, ilagay mo sa ISO 100 para alam mo na ang ginagamit mong film is an ISO 100. So, let's continue. Using, so, the higher the number, the more sensitive it is to light, the lower the number, the less sensitive it is to light. And you need to tell your camera what ISO film you're shooting so it can help give you suggestions with the light meter as to proper exposure for whatever scene you're shooting. So, it needs to know, the camera computer needs to know, or the light meter needs to know what kind of film or what sensitivity film you're, you're using. And that's just on the box of the film. It might say 100 or 400. And that's something you load, uh, something you indicate to the camera right when you load the film. So in this case, uh, there's a window here, a little ISO indicator. And, ISO and there's a na, ring on the outside, which is hard to see, but I can pull it up. And camera. as I spin that, I can change uh, what number is indicated in that small ISO window. So then you just put it to the ISO that you want to shoot, whatever film you've got, and you're done for that whole roll of film. Uh, the shutter release button is usually right there on the right, on the top. Um, pretty self-explanatory. This camera button. also has uh, a couple of other uh, features. It has a multiple exposure tab that can help you make multiple exposures. Uh, not necessary to go into that too much right now. Uh, most cameras, 35mm cameras, will have a hot shoe mount. Box uh, that you is hot flash show, or parang saan mo or yung mismo Most cameras will have flash. a uh, tripod mount, a tripod thread. Mm -hmm. So you, you can mount this to any, uh, any tripod. It's a standard thread. This is the battery compartment. Battery uh, one other thing client. before I finish this film, although I'll cover it more in loading and unloading the film. But when you, when you are shooting uh, a roll of film, uh, each time you make a frame, you'll see a film counter window, which will keep track of how many pictures you've made in this window. So if you've loaded a roll of 36 exposure film, when you get to number 36 or so, you'll go to advance the film and you won't be able to because you're at the end of the roll. And it's important not to force that because you will actually end up tearing the end of the film off the take-up spool. Uh, and that's something you really do not want to do. But when you get to the end of the roll, it's time to rewind it. Uh, to rewind the film, you use okay. the film rewind knob. Usually, so that is a knob. That is a film rewind lever para irewind nyo mamaya yung film. So let's ano na uh, punta na tayo isa isa. So these are the parts of um, analog camera. So uh, sa activity number seven yo, okay. All you need to do is to draw again. You need to draw a two D. Pag sinabi nating 2D, hindi lang siya flat, okay? 2D uh, analog camera, parang ganyan. And then, you will going to, uh, parang maglagay ka ng label nyo siya. Drawing, ha? Drawing po, 2D. And then, ang pinakalas na gagawin nyo is, kaya kailangan nyo makinig ngayon, you will create a video, again, explaining the parts and function of each of this. For example, ano ang ginagawa ng film advance lever? Ano ang ginagawa ng hot shoe? Para saan ang rewind lever? Para saan ang f-stop focus ring? Okay? Ganun po ang sa activity number 7 ninyo. Ganun din naman sa activity number 8. Ang pinagkaiba lang, ang gagawin yung camera man doon or yung idodrawing nyo naman na camera doon is the digital SLR camera or DSLR. Again, it is a 2D. Parang ganyan. Para nakikita nating buo. Let's continue. So, ayan. So, those are the different parts of the analog camera. So, halos pareho lang naman kasi sila ng ating DSLR. Ang pinagkaiba lang talaga is meron talaga tong film. That is why um, mas malaki siyang kung tutuusin. Tingnan natin. Let's go now with, ayan, the parts of the analog camera. First, we have this, the lens. Ayan. Again, saan nga located ang aperture? Inside the 
lens. So lens is a special piece of glass which reflects light from outside onto the back of the camera and creates a reverse upside down image on the film at the back of the camera. So that is the lens. Ayan. Glass yan. Or sometimes plastic nga, sabi nila. So dyan sa lens na yan, makikita nyo, ma meron po siyang ina-adjust. Sometimes nag-zoom po siya, sometimes parang lumiliit yung aperture niya. Doon papasok yung focusing ring. Ito. So, that is the focusing ring. Focusing ring moves the lens back and forth. Ayan. Which allows the photographer to create a sharp image of the subject. Sometimes, yung focusing ring, meron din siya dito na aperture ring. Dito naman nilalagay niya yung uh, pinaka-size ng pinaka-aperture uh, mo. Okay. Next. Ayan. This is, uh, ito yung sinasabi ko sa inyo, yung sa loob ng lens. This is the diaphragm or aperture. Tignan nyo, ito yung pinaka-size niya. Ayan. Sabi niya, diaphragm or aperture. This is a small opening in a camera. Usually circular in shape and usually varies in the form of iris. Parang nga siyang sa mata, di ba? Diaphragm that regulates the intensity of light which passes through the lens. Okay, nasa loob po ito ng lens. Again ha, nasa loob po ito ng lens. Tignan nyo yung mga aperture sizes. So, this is F, focal. Focal ang stance ng F, okay? Tignan nyo, the more na mas mababa, F 2.8. Para sa itong sa logo ng Picasa, okay? F 2.8. Tignan nyo, mababa, ba? Diba? The more na mas mababa ang focal number niya, ano ang mangyayari? Mas malaki ang butas niya. Mas malaki ang papasok na light sa kanya. ba? Diba? Tingnan nyo, F22 or yung F number niya na 22, mataas, ba? Diba? Pero tingnan nyo, yung pinaka-opening niya, maliit lang. ba? Diba? Nakakasunod ba kayo sa aperture? Diyan pumapasok yung light. Okay, the amount of light. So, so siya yung nagko-control kung gaano ba kadami or gaano kaliit lang ang papasok na light doon sa mismong lens. Do you follow what is the aperture now? Hello. Yes, ma'am. Saan makikita si aperture inside the Lens. Ano ang pinaka uh, logic bit between or paano natin nalaman ang sizes ng aperture through the use of the focal number. Ayan. Saan nakikita yan, ma'am? Balik tayo dun sa kanina. Nakita nyo ba yan? ba? Diba? Ayan o. Meron siyang 1.5, 0.08, 0.06, 0.44 or sometimes dito. So that is uh, the uh, aperture. Ayan, makikita natin dito yung pinaka sizes nila. Again, ano ang nireregulate? Ano ang dineregulate ni ating uh, aperture? The amount of light that will enter in the lens. Okay. Overlapping blades 'yan kapag nagko-close and open siya. So, makikita nyo din yan kapag napunta na tayo sa lens. Hindi ako masyado makapag-focus about the diaphragm and aperture, but as much as possible, in-explain ko na sa inyo yung logic niya. Para kapag, uh, tawag dito, kapag nag-lens na tayo after ng prelims, eh hindi na tayo mahihirapan. Tingnan nyo, F2.8. Mababa ang number niya, di ba? Pero malaki. Di ba? Ganun lang siya. Kumbaga sa, ano, uh, tawag dito, sa gamit, Diba? Sa gamit, kapag bago siya, diba? uh, mas, ma, mataas ang number niya, pero ma, maliit pa lang yung mismong damage niya. Pero kapag uh, mababa na yung gamit, mura ng halaga, ibig sabihin, malaki na yung damage niya. So, parang ganun siya yung ating aperture. Next slide, let's go with shutter speed dial. Okay, again, ano nga ang purpose ng shutter speed dial? What is the purpose of shutter speed dial? It will control the length of time. Kung gaano, katagal. Di ba nga, kapag nag sa cellphone nyo, pag nagtitake kayo ng camera, di ba, nilalagyan nyo ng timer. Di ba? Nilalagyan nyo ng timer. Ganon din sa ating shutter speed. 
Okay, this is the shutter speed dial. Okay, usually located ang shutter speed dial katabi ng ating uh, shutter release button. Uh, it will control the length of time when it is allowed to strike in the sensitized material. So, ayan, 1, 2, yung 1,000 part of the second, 500. Ma, bakit merong 1,000? 1,000 seconds ba yan? Hindi po. Okay, hindi yan. Uh, ano yan, Ay, yan yung pinaka parang part of a second. Yung pinakita ko sa inyo na sobrang liliit na ng pagka-open ng shutter opening. So, ayan. So, nilalagay mo yan para, uh, tawag dito, para maset mo gaano katagal yung mismong pag-open mo ng shutter. Okay. Ganun din po sa shutter, the more na mas matagal mo inopen ang shutter, the more na mas madami ang papasok na light. So, kapag kanwari madilim, okay, kanwari madilim, try nyo, sige, mamaya sa camera nyo, pag-experimentohan nyo yung mismong camera nyo, if wala kayong camera pro, ba? you can download sa mga Play Store or sa anumang App Store na meron kayo, Download kayo ng Camera Pro wherein you can uh, play the settings like the shutter speed or the, o oh, tama, shutter speed. Kapag madilim, for example, gabi, ang ginagamit ng mga photographer natin, ang shutter speed nila is dapat matagal. 5 seconds, 10 seconds, ganyan. Bakit? Kasi kailangan there is a necess, uh, enough amount or parang sufficient amount of light para pumasok doon sa mismong camera. Meron bang night mode yung mga cellphone nyo? Ha? Have you ever tried Meron. yung night mode? Meron po. Di ba kapag nag-picture ka ng night mode, ano ang matawag dito? Ano yung makikita mo? Ano yung na-observe mo? Malinaw. Malinaw. Pero gaano kabilis? Matagal po. Matagal, di ba? Kasi ganun katagal naka-open yung shutter mo. Para nga pumasok mo na yung light. So, ganun yung uh, parang pinaka logic about the shutter. The more na naka-open yan, okay, the more na mas madaming pumapasok ang light. Kaya kapag, for example, nasa uh, pinaka maliwanag ka, kailangan ang shutter speed mo mabilis lang. Pero kapag nasa madilim ka naman, dahil nga konti lang yung light, kung gusto mong maging mas maliwanag ang image mo, kailangan ang shutter speed mo nakaset yan ng matagal. Kasi nga, para makuha mo ng maliwanag. ba? That is the scenario behind that shutter speed. So, this is the shutter speed dial. Next, this is the shutter. Ayan, yung pinaka nasa loob ng camera. Yung pinakita kong video sa inyo. It is an adjustable mechanism that regulates the amount of light. Ayan na. Reaching the film, varying the length of time of light is allowed to pass through the lens. So, that is the shutter. Yung parang pinaka window film plane niya. Maliwanag po ba sa inyo ngayon ang shutter? Hello? Maliwanag yes, ba? Yes, okay. Po. You can experiment ah. yan within your camera. And then, we have the shutter release button. Ito, yung kiniklik nyo mismo. So, a shutter release button is a part of, ca of the camera which when pressed will keep the shutter in open position. Ayan. Kapag klinik mo yan, automatically ma-open siya. Babalik lang ako dito, dun sa kanina. do wala yung picture niya. So, dito, normally kasi, after nito, meron siyang letter B na nakalagay dito. Okay, B, sabi niya. Yun yung tinatawag nating bulb method. Diba kapag nga nag-click tayo, Balik tayo dito. For example, oh, sinet natin yung shutter speed dial ng 5 seconds. Kapag na-click natin yan, di ba hindi naman 5 seconds ka din nakapindot sa mismong ano, shutter release button? Hindi naman. Kasi automatically, magkiklik siya or magkuklose siya after 5 seconds. Yung bulb method na sinasabi niya, hindi siya magkuklose unless alisin mo na yung mismong kamay mo dito sa shutter release button. So, shutter this button is a part of camera which when pressed will keep the shutter in open position. Then, next, we have the viewfinder. Ito, kung saan nyo tiniting yan, yung mismong image or window. A viewing instrument attached to a camera used to obtain a proper composition. Ma'am, paano yun? ba? Nakita naman natin. Yung lens nandun sa gitna. Pero yung viewfinder nasa taas, paano pumapasok yung image? Yun yung tinatawag ko na pentaprism na pinakita ko sa inyo. So, gag meron kasing mirror sa loob ng ating camera wherein kapag kapasok ng light sa mismong lens, okay? Ang gagawin niya, 
magre-reflect siya sa taas at pupunta dito sa ating viewfinder or window. So, viewfinder or window is a viewing instrument. Dito natin nga tinitingnan, attached to a camera used to obtain a proper composition. Next, ayan, film holder. Ito. Ito yung film holder. So, it holds the film inside the camera. It is always located at the opposite side of the lens. And then, syempre ito, accessory light or hot shoe. Ito. Yung pinaka parang bakal na yan. Diyan natin nilalagay yung flash bulb. Okay? It is where the flash bulb is inserted for indoor photography. So, dyan natin siya nilalagay. Next, ayan. ISO, ASA, or DIN dial. Ayan. Usually, okay, usually po, yung mga, an ano nga tawag natin sa ISO, ASA, at saka DIN? Ito yung mga Film speed indicator. Diba? Kung gaano kabilis yung film nyo. Now, a camera device in which when adjusted, it will conform with the sensitivity of the film of the light. Usually po, ayan, tignan nyo, meron na siyang bulb method or yung letter B. Usually, nakalagay yan dito sa mismong uh, shutter speed dial. Pero yung ibang camera, okay, katulad nito, yan, katulad nitong camera na to, wala siyang uh, pinaka-film speed. Nasa kabila siya. Pero most of the camera, nakalagay dito talaga sa, sa pinaka-loob ng ating shutter speed dial. Na-adjust yan, ma'am. Yes, na-adjust siya. Hindi ito yung mga film speed, ha? hindi yung 1,500. Ito yung pinaka-film speed, itong 200 ASA. Okay. So, saan makikita yan, ma'am? Tingnan nyo yung pinaka-box ng film na binili nyo. Meron nakalagay doon, ISO or ASA. Tapos, sundan nyo lang. Kung, for example, ang nabili nyo is ISO or ASA 100, dapat iset nyo yan ng 100. So, dito, ang nabili nyo sigurong film is um, ASA 200. That is why, sinet niya yung camera niya sa ASA 200. Then, we have also the exposure counter or frame counter. Ito yun. Nakita nyo yung 2 tapos merong 0. Ayan. So, that is the exposure counter or frame counter. Ano po yung frame counter, ma'am? Kung ilang ano ka na lang slides or shots or nakakailang ano ka na. Nakakailang tawag dito, nakakailang shot ka na. So, this is a device indicating the number of exposures made. Kasi ba diba, sabi ko nga sa inyo, yung mga binibili nating film, eh, merong 25 shots lang, 35 shots, 37 shots. So, ito yung exposure counter natin. So, binibilang niya, nakakailang take ka na, or nakakailang frame ka na, or slide ka na, na nagamit within your film. Ito siya. Usually, located siya dito sa ating film advance lever. Next. Ayan, tignan nyo to. Ito yung sinasabi ko sa inyo. Diba ito yung shutter speed dial niya? Ito yung shutter speed dial niya. And then, tignan nyo yung ano niya, yung film ano niya. Yung parang speed indicator. Nandito siya. Diba? Wala siya dito. Sometimes kasi nandito. Yung iba nandito. Okay? This is naman yung pinaka-counter natin. The next. Ayan, distance scale. Ayan. So, distance scale is a device that shows the approximate distance from the optical center of the lens to the point of focus on the object. Yung distance scale, makikita yan sa lens ng camera natin. Okay? Para ma... Uh, parang ito yung pinaka... nagsusukat. Okay? It measures kung gaano kalayo yung mismong ating lens sa mismong uh, subject mo. Then, we also have the film rewind lock. Ito. A device that secure the film or any accidental rewinding. Kasi, meron to, ito, katulad nito, yung nasa gilid niya. That is the film rewind lock. Para lang, uh, tawag dito, um, ito, para uh, hindi natin accidentally ma na ma-rewind ang lock. Kasi iniikot po yung film eh. So, there are chances na sometimes yung iba, naiikot nila or nababalik nila yung film doon sa mga hindi na nagamit. So, malilito ka na. Hindi mo na alam if sira na ba tong frame na to or nagamit mo na. Yun lang. So, that is a film rewind lock. Ito. Back cover release knob. Ayan. Usually, kapag in-open nila yan, uh, ipapull up nila. Tapos, ma-open na yung sa likod. So, that is the back cover release knob. A device used in opening the back cover of the film 
reloading. Mamaya ma makikita nyo kung paano binubuksan yung camera and then ilalagay nila yung film. So, we also have the lens lock release lever. Ito siya. Ito yung nakita ko, pinakita, ah, sinabi ko sa inyo kanina sa video na kailangan pindutin niya muna bago maalis yung lens. Ayan. So, that is the lens lock release lever, a device used to secure the lens. Then, you also have the data display, often a liquid uh, this crystal display or LCD permits the user to view settings such as film speed, exposure, and shutter speed. Uh, yung data display, meron kasi mga analog camera wherein meron sila dito. Yan, pinaka box dyan. Tapos data display, parang nakikita mo din yung mismong image. Para siyang viewfinder din. Lens cap. Pahihirapan pa ba kayo sa lens cap? It covers the pro and protects the lens during storage. So, yan. Ginagamit mo yan para i-cover lang yung lens para hindi mabasag. Then, we also have the sprocket teeth. Naalala nyo pa ba yan? Diba? These are the perforations or film holes. Dyan, ang sprocket teeth, dyan natin ilalagay yung mismong mga film holes or yung perforations para alin, hindi umalis yung film. It is a part of the film transport mechanism. This is where the sprocket holes will be engaged in. Parang ito na yung pinaka sprocket ng bike. Tapos ito yung kadena mo, yung mga perforations or film holes. Then, pick up spool, yung nasa loob. So, this is a metal or sometimes plastic cylinder, generally located in the right side of the camera, looking from behind. There will be either a notch gears or bolt on the cylinder. It pulls the film, the film along. Uh, an exposed film can be placed behind the shutter. Film attaches to either the notch or gears, allowing the spool to advance film as it turns. Ito yung pinaka-umiikot, or dyan natin nilalagay yung film para umikot. Next, flash button. Yan. Uh, kasi yung mga analog camera natin, wala silang built-in flash. So, kailangan may flash button muna para gamitin natin sila. It is pressed with the flash now. This button releases the flash head to pop out. And also, we have the film advance lever. Ito yon. Sa mga analog camera, kailangan i-click mo muna yung film advance lever na yan. Okay? Para magpunta siya dun sa next, ano, next uh, slide or pinaka-next frame ng ating film. So, kapag click mo na siya papunta sa right, and then dun mo pa lang siya pwedeng pindutin itong film advance. So, ang mangyayari, ipupull mo to papunta sa right. And then, pag napunta na yon lilipat ito, itong counter natin dun sa next slide niya or pinaka-next frame mapupunta na siya sa next frame or next slide ng ating film, then, dun mo palang pwedeng pindutin itong film, itong pinaka-shutter. So, it is a mechanism for moving a film from one spool to another, incrementally one frame at a time. Components of a film holder in the pinakalikod. We have the rewind fork, the film cartridge chamber, and the film guide rail. So, rewind fork, this is connected on the film rewind knob and crank. It holds the long spool core inside the film cartridge chamber. We also have the film cartridge chamber, yung pinakalalagyanan. This component of film holder is necessary to load the film firmly. It is the canal area located at the left side of the back of the camera. And we also have the film guide rails. This is the tiny protrude fragmentary metals found at the top and bottom area of the focal plane shutter window. And both edges of the film lie into it, thus its size accurate with the width of the film. Ito yung parang pinaka maliliit na parang sprocket. Ayan siya, oh. So this is the film guide. Ito yung rewind. And then this is the take up spool. Ayan. So, this is the film door or parang pinaka tinatawag nilang back cover ng ating camera. So, let's watch this one on how we can load a film into an analog camera. Alright. So, we're going to load this here. Very lovely Canon AE-1. This isn't the program version. It's just the regular AE-1. So, it only does shutter priority and full manual. This is a particularly good copy. You can see it's pretty clean and looks almost new. I mean, it looks in pretty good shape. Uh, there are a gazillion of these out there. I think they made six million-ish. 
So uh, if you want to use this camera, this should be easy to find. If you already have one, great. We're going to show you how to, to load some film. And if you can load this camera with film, you can load pretty much any SLR from the 70s and 80s. Any of this type of camera, you should be able to load pretty easily. They're all very, very similar. So let's get started. Uh, first thing we want to do is make sure there's not already film in it because that would suck. So lift the little rewind lever. This, uh, most of them are like this. You just flip that over and always go in the direction of the arrow. So we're going to go that way. So I'm just going to wind around and you can tell there's just no tension on it at all. So you can just crank it around. That means there's no film in there. And the way most of these cameras open is you just grab that little rewind lever again, kind of pinch it and just pull it straight up and the back will pop open just like that. So now that that's open. So there's one other thing I want to show you in here before we actually put the film in. You see this arrow here? A lot of the SLRs will uh, turn the opposite direction. This particular camera, when you put the film in, it actually turns the spindle that direction. Whereas a lot of them will turn the other direction. And I'll show you that. I'm going to hit the shutter button here so we can advance. And you can watch that arrow. It'll just go to the left. That's just the way it works. There's nothing, I don't think, in particular special about that. But it's just the way they chose to do it. So, all right, let's put some film in. We have our lovely, what is this? Kentmere Pan 100. I've not tried this, so this will be fun. Another counterintuitive bit is this here seems like it'd be the top, but it's actually the bottom. So we're going to start with this end, and we always put that in first. You can see there's a little slot there where the, the this top part goes, uh, bottom part, I should say. So we're going to put this in first and slide that in. Just kind of flatten that out a little bit. I like to drop that in there and give it a wiggle just in case you didn't see that. Sometimes it doesn't, doesn't go straight in. You just give it a little wiggle and it'll, it'll sit, settle in there. So now we're going to push our film across. Try not to push on the shutter because the shutters are pretty fragile. If you, if you, uh, bash that in, basically your shutter's dead. And on these old cameras, they're not really replaceable. You can, you could always get another camera and try to replace the shutter, but it's not a very good idea. It's a lot of effort for not a lot of return. Unless you just love restoring old cameras. So, as I showed you before, we want to get, we need to make this film go that way. So we have to hook it in one of these little slots and then one of those little hooks. And the easiest way to do is pull a little bit more and just kind of slide it down in there until it catches. And I like to put my thumb right here because that'll help it wind through. And then just uh, hit the shutter button again. And then push the film advance lever very gently. First time. I always do it. I want to do it slow the first time because uh, it's, if you do it too fast, you can actually just drop the, the hook on there and it won't catch. So, but you can see that little hook is in the sprocket hole. And so we're ready to go with that. This is nice and flat. This is going all the way across. We've got little sprocket tines, teeth, whatever, sticking out there. We got the little hooky in there. So we're going to go ahead and close it up. So we'll just swing that over and come over here and just, just give it a nice squeeze and it'll stay closed as long as this part's down. So next up, you can see we're at S for start. Different cameras have different things. Some will say S, some will say like just dots. Some will say zero. This one has start and zero. So what we're going to do is hit the shutter button and advance the film until we get to one, which on this camera is just a little white dot. So that's going right there. That means you're basically ready to start taking pictures. There are a couple things you should still do though. Um, this is currently set to ISO 50. That tells the meter inside the camera what speed your film is. So when it's metering, it knows how much light it needs. If you don't set that, then the camera won't under, you know, it could under overexpose. And the way you set this is on this particular camera, this will change depending on the camera. A lot of them have this over here. Mom, so. But this ring, as you can see, 
is the shutter speed dial. So if you just turn it, that whole thing turns together. Did you hear what they said to the girl? Yes, ma'am. Ma'am. Yes. I don't have any audio. I don't have any audio, but it's like that. Okay, let's just watch it again. It's just on for you, ma'am. Okay, okay, okay. But what you need to do is, I'll turn it sideways so you can see this. You have to lift the ring up. So lift it up like that. And then when you turn it, it'll turn just the film speed setting. And then when you put it back down, it'll turn the shutter speed. So I'll show you that from this angle. This is hard to do again with my big clunky hands. But we're going to turn that to 100. Because... Ganto na lang. Hindi pa rin Yes, ma'am. Maganda na lang. Yes, um, ipanorin na lang siya, panorin na lang natin siya mamaya. I-open ko siya sa another link. Okay? Pero ganun lang naman siya uh, itawag dito, uh, i-load ang film. Okay? Ganun na ganun lang yung process niya. Okay, let's continue. Ito, how to use uh, a Canon AE uh, 35mm film camera. Hey, John here with Prime Studios, and in this video I'm going to show you guys how to use the Canon AE-1 35mm film camera, which is one of the most common. How about this one? Did you hear na? No. 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 Commonly used film cameras by students today. Alright, starting off, I'm going to go ahead and put in the battery. This camera so, uses uh, battery, what's called a V28PX uh, battery. battery. It's a small 6-volt, and camera. in my opinion, I think Varda is a great brand uh, to get batteries from. So, sometimes, from. Hindi battery so the actual nila. battery Alam compartment yung battery for this camera is actually on the front right here. Battery There's a little latch that you can push with Ganun your finger to nilalagay. open up the door. So, sometimes, and you'll see the positive and negative terminals on the inside. Go and take your battery, positive side up. And you just go ahead and insert it in there. Now, if you have any kind of corrosion in there, you're going to need to clean that off before you put in any battery. Uh, the camera itself won't work without a battery. The shutter won't click and the uh, winding knob will not move forward. So you definitely need a battery in order for this camera to... This is not a battery compartment. This is actually a compartment that covers a winding knob, 400 ISO film. We're going to need to go ahead and tell the camera that. So the ISO is adjusted by the this outside okay, silver kapag, knob here, uh, and the indicator for ISO is this little uh, green numbers right here. And the way you adjust it, you can move the uh, advanced lever out of the way. So once na lagay nyo na yung film, katulad ng pinakita ko kanina, ang next na gagawin nyo is to set the ISO niya, or ASA or DIN ng film. For example, ISO 100 ba? ASA 100 ba siya? Lagay nyo na siya. Usually, located nga yung mga film speed indicator na yan dun sa mismong shutter speed. So, paano naman po, ma'am, paano natin, paano natin malalaman kapag uh, kailangan na natin mag-take ng shot? So, makikita mo ulit yung sa pinaka... Uh, tawag dito, yung counter natin, frame counter, kailangan mo lang itik yung pinaka ito, advanced lever, pull the ad, uh, film advanced lever to the right para mapunta siya dun sa number 1. Kapag lumitaw na yung number 1 dun, then you can now take a shot. Ganun lang po kasimple gamitin ang ating uh, SLR film or analog camera. So, do you have any questions about this one? Hello? Na po. Okay. So lahat naman ng videos na yan uh, uploaded sa inyong canvas. Kung hindi nyo man siya narinig dito, okay, you can uh, watch those one sa ating canvas. Now, let's go na with the digital photography and videography. So noon, wala pa kasi tayong digital photography and videography. And we, also, uh, we always rely on the uh, digital one. So digital photography and videography. So, digital photography, a form of photography that uses digital technology to make images of subjects or digital photographs can be displayed and printed, stored, manipulated, transmitted, and archived using digital and computer techniques without chemical processing. It is one of the several forms of digital imaging. Kung kayong papipiliin, anong gusto nyo? Analog camera or digital? 
Ha? Kayong papipilian. Ano gusto nyo? Analog or digital? Digital. Digital, digital, digital diba? Kasi, isipin mo, unlimited kasi siya, ma'am. Diba? Okay lang na mag-delete-delete ka na kapag unnecessary. Hindi ka to... Kay analog kasi. Okay? Kay analog kasi. Ano siya, ma'am? Diba? Uh, touch... Uh, Tawag ito? Touch move siya. Diba? Kung ano na yung naklik mo, yun na yun. Diba? Hindi siya pwedeng mag-take two. Mag-take two ka, another slide the frame na naman yun. Another frame na naman siya. So, ang kinagandahan lang ng digital photography, uh, soft copy. Okay. Pero alam nyo ba, okay, uh, kapag sa korte, okay, mas mataas pa rin ang, parang mas mataas pa rin yung ano ng analog camera. Bakit? Hindi na i-edit. Yun, very good. Kasi kapag analog camera ang ginamit natin, hindi siya na-edit. So, walang question-question, di ba, na i-edit mo lang yan, di ba? Kapag kasi digital photography, minsan kina-question nila yan kasi we can edit now, na, na, lalo na ngayon, nowadays, ang daming mga effects, di ba? Ang daming mga apps na we can edit the photos and videos. That is why, uh, laging nagiging question yan kapag dating sa korte. Okay? So, digital images, these are uh, created by non-photographic equipment, such as, such as the computer tomography scanners and radio telescopes. It can also be made by scanning conventional photographic images. So, that is the digital images. Ito yung mga soft copy na image. Kapag ang picture nyo sa cellphone nyo, ayan na, cellphone lang, hindi yan nakaprint. Ang tawag dyan, image lang. Digital image. Pero kapag yan na, uh, yung mga digital image mo ay pinaprint mo na, pwede mo na sabihin na photo, um, photo print. Pero hindi mo pwedeng sabihin photographic print. Okay? Ang photographic print, kailangan meron siyang chemical processing. Okay? Na pag-uusapan din natin siya sa midterms kung paano napiprint itong mga films at saka uh, photographic papers. So, that is a digital photography. So, how does a digital camera work? Kanina pinakita ko sa inyo, di ba, kung paano gumagana yung mesmong uh, film. Kasi nga, meron siyang, ano ma'am, uh, shutter, tapos papasok yung light doon sa mesmong lens. How about dito, ma'am? Eh, wala tayong film. So, let's watch this one. How does a digital camera works? So, that is a digital camera. Ayan, or DSLR. Kung meron kayong DSLR, mas the construction na of digital cameras is very similar to that of traditional ones. Their most important components are the body, the objective lens, the diaphragm, the shutter, and the light see, sensitive surface, or ano, image sensor. The difference is that camera. digital cameras Pero transform the ganyan. image Pero into electrical signals digital, and store it in this form too. In the case of traditional laka. cameras, light produces a chemical change in the light sensitive film. To take excellent photos, we often need accessories besides the camera because, for instance, it is difficult to shoot in low light conditions. If there is not enough light, the camera's shutter has to stay open longer, which may lead to camera shake or the movement of the subject, resulting in a blurry picture. The flash serves as an artificial light source, and the tripod prevents camera shake while shooting. When we take photos, light rays are gathered by the objective lens. This is actually a set of lenses in which the position of the lenses can be changed. This way we can change magnification, that is, we can zoom in on our subject. Image distance, the point where light rays converge, can also be adjusted, making our subject appear in focus. The objective lens comprises several lenses in order to correct the imperfections caused by lens aberration. The light then travels through the opening in the diaphragm called the aperture, which regulates the amount of light entering the lens. If there is too much light, the width of this opening is reduced, and if the light is too low, the opening widens. The depth of field can also be adjusted with the aperture. A smaller aperture results in a deeper depth of field, that is, the subject and the background are also sharp. A larger aperture, however, results in a shallower depth of field, that is, only the subject will be sharp. In single lens reflex cameras, after light passes through the aperture, it reaches a mirror positioned at an angle to reflect it through a pentaprism to the viewfinder. The pentaprism ensures that the image we see in the viewfinder is not upside down. 
Some cameras have a semi-transparent mirror with a secondary mirror behind that is perpendicular to it. This secondary mirror directs part of the light towards the focusing screen and then a sensor array to operate the autofocus system. When we take photos, the mirror flips up, and the light travels straight through the shutter which opens at the same time, allowing it to reach the light sensitive surface, that is, the image sensor. The shutter stays open for a short time if there is strong light and stays open longer in light conditions. A short exposure time and large aperture are ideal when shooting moving objects so that the image will not be blurry. A long exposure time is needed for taking pictures of the stars at night, and the camera has to be placed on a tripod. Passing through the shutter, the light reaches the light sensitive surface, or image sensor, which comprises millions of F photosites, or pixels, and is converted into electrical signals which are processed by the camera's processor. These are the so that's how a uh, digital or digital SLR works. Katulad na katulad lang din ng ating uh, film, ang pinagkaiba, digital or image sensor na ang meron. So yung nakikita nyo na parang pinaka box doon, yan, that is the image sensor nila. O yung sa atin, film na yan. Okay. So let's continue. Do you have any questions before we continue? May tanong ba kayo na gustong li liwanagin? So let's uh, continue with this. So these are the parts of digital SLR. So yung kanina kasi yung pinakita yung film that is the analog SLR. Okay. So this is the flash. Usually kasi yung mga digital or DSLR ngayon meron din silang built-in flash. Diba? Ayan no. Naka-built-in yan na biglang umaangat. Tama po ba? Pero yung mga iba, meron pa rin silang horseshoe para doon sa mas malaking flash na gusto natin. Sa analog camera, wala tayong built-in flash. No? Then we also have the main dial, the shutter button, the remote control sensor, the red eye uh, reduction, the grip, yun lang kung saan mo siya hawakan, the lens mount, this is the mirror, the lens release button, kung paano, kung paano maglalak at mag-release uh, ang pinaka-lens. We also have the flash button. They also have the mode dial and um, ito, EF lens mount index. So, parts and functions. Ayan, we have the mode dials. Isa-isay natin mga to. So, this is used to change the camera modes. Meron kasi tayong aperture mode, shutter priority, meron tayong uh, parang panorama, meron din tayo na parang tawag dito, yung portrait, di ba? So, yun yung mga mode dials natin. We also have the viewfinder wherein, uh, wherein uh, it allows you to view or to see the image or the frame of your subject. And then, ito, meron silang built-in flash. Halos po ng DSLR, meron silang built-in flash. So, it helps your camera to produce artificial light to, to eliminate a scene. We also have the re reflex and relay mirror, yung sa, liko, ah, sa pinakaloob, na nakita din natin sa mismong analog, or and then sa DSLR, meron din sila. A mirror position at a 45-degree angle to reflect light from the lens to the viewfinder, enabling you to see what the lens sees. So, this is the camera lens and the shutter button. So, pumili lang ako ng madaming parts itong digital camera. Okay, pumili lang ako ng mga importante parts niya. So, we have the parts of digital camera. Kung meron kayong Digicam, tingnan nyo. Ito, meron di ba nakita nyo yung AEL, AFL button? So, it stands for Auto Exposure Lock and Auto Focus Lock. And its primary function is to lock the camera exposure or the focus. So, Auto Exposure Lock. So, lock the exposure to a value you are comfortable with. So, dito naglalaro kung bakit mamanggaling nilang mag-take ng photos. Ano. Actually, sa phone po, meron din kayong ganyan. Okay? I am suggesting to download a Camera Pro. Okay? Mag-download kayo ng Camera Pro para um, ma-enjoy nyo yung settings or totoo ba yung sinasabi ko na meron palang ganyang settings sa camera. Okay? So, that is the auto exposure lock or auto focus lock. Kaya nakikita nyo ba, bakit ma'am nagagawa nilang nabiblur yung sa likod ng, ano, ng, ng image ng gumamit ng DSLR? Ito yan. So, it can be used to stop the camera from making lens require focus when you recompose. So, ginagamit nila yan. And then, we also have this one. 
Ito, viewfinder. Ito, yung maliit na to na may minus and plus. So, viewfinder diopter adjustment, a small dial or knob adjuster connected to the viewfinder. Ito, ito yung viewfinder nyo, di ba? Kung saan nyo tinitingnan sa pinakamata nyo. Uh, the diopter allows you to adjust the viewfinder sharpness to match your own eyesight. Yan. So, the diopter adjustment controls the focus of the viewfinder only. Viewfinder lang po ang ina-adjust nito, hindi yung lens ha. It does not change the focus of the camera lens. Para lang mas maging accurate siya sa mata nyo. Okay? Adjusted to the top right of the viewfinder eyepiece, this dial adjusts the optical viewfinder to accommodate eyeglass Wearers. Kasi di ba may mga photographer tayo na malabo ang mata. So, anong ginagawa nila para makita dito or maayos yung viewfinder nila? Meron tayong tinatawag nito, viewfinder diopter adjustment. Ayan, para makita nila. So, hindi po, uh, kaya pag sinabi nila, ay, naku, ma malabo ang mata mo, hindi ka pwede sa professional photography. Okay, hindi po. Pwede po yan sa ating DSLR. Kasi pwede naman ma-autofocus ng ating viewfinder diopter adjustment. Ito. You also have the mode dial. Ito yung mode dial. Na iniikot po yan. Ano? Mode dial or camera dial. It is a dial used on digital cameras to change the camera modes. So, sometimes meron tayong manual mode. Kapag niset mo ang ating DSLR into manual mode. Therefore, ikaw ang maglalaro as a photographer. Ikaw yung magsaset ng shutter. Ikaw ang magsaset ng uh, aperture niya. Ikaw ang magsaset ng focusing ring niya. Ikaw lahat-lahat. So, that is the manual mode. Kaya nakakapaglaro yung mga photographer eh. Kasi nagma-manual mode sila. So, therefore, there is a art or there is an art na mabubuo nila na magagawa nila itong gantong effect. Ganyan. So, that is the manual mode or yung letter M. And then, we also have this automatic modes. Okay? Kapag automatic mode naman or yung letter A, okay? Kapag naka-automatic mode ka, therefore, uh, tawag dito, automatically, itong DSLR siya na ang mag adjust sa'yo. Once na finocus mo na yan or nilagay mo yung camera mo doon sa mismong subject mo, siya na ang mag adjust Kung ano yung gaano, gaano yung focusing niya, paano yung aperture niya, siya na yung mag adjust lahat-lahat. So again, we have two modes of the digital camera, the manual mode wherein you can play and the automatic mode wherein um, siya nang bahala kasi automatic nga. Ayan, tignan nyo to. Nakita na ba kayo ng ganyan, di ba? Bakit ma merong, ano kayang meaning ng flower na yon? Anong meaning kaya nung parang bundok na yon? Anong meaning kaya ng mga, eto yan. Okay. M stands for the manual exposure. Yung AV This is the aperture priority. Saan nga makikita ulit yung aperture? Sa loob ng loob lens. lens. Sa loob ng lens. Okay, yan. Aperture priority. Meron din tayong yung parang TV. Sometimes yung TV na yan, S siya ang nakalagay. Hindi mo makita ang TV. Sometimes S ang nakalagay. Shutter priority. Ibig sabihin, pinaglalaroan mo naman yung shutter nun. And then, we hold out the program. Full auto, sabi niya. Kapag ganito, yung parang tao, ibig sabihin portrait. So, for example, merong nagpapapicture ng 1 by 1 2 by 2 sineset nila yung digicam nila ng portrait. Kapag naman, kinukuha na mo ng landscape view, okay, click mo tong parang yung bundok. That is a landscape view. Close up, yan, yung parang flower. Ayan. And then, we also have the sports. Usually, yung sports na yan, ginagamit nila yan kapag sa moving objects. For example, in water, ganyan, uh, or parang dumadaan yung sasakyan, gagamitin nila yung sports mode para ma-capture nila yung mga mabibilis or moving objects. Kasi kadalasan, kapag hindi mo ginawa yan or hindi mo ginawa yung mode na yan, ano mangyayari sa images mo? Magiging Blur. blurred. Yan. Meron din kayong night portrait. Yan. Kapag gabi, ba diba? Yung parang may nakita ko yung moon and star dyan. Ibig sabihin, night mode siya noon. Parang sa camera nyo, cellphone, meron siyang night mode. Anong mangyayari nga? Ano nga gagawin natin sa shutter natin kapag madilim? Kailangan ang shutter natin ay? Yung shutter speed natin ay? Matagal. 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 Para tumasok yung light. And then, we also have the flash off. And then, so yung mga to, yung mga yan, This is just a camera user settings. So, di ba, kahit pa paano, nagkakaroon na kayo ng knowledge about on how to use your camera. Next, we also have the command dial. 
So, iba yan sa ating ano ha. Iba po to sa mode dial. Okay. Uh, usually, command dial para lang sa mga pag next kanyan. It is located on the back of the camera. In the upper right hand corner. Directly under your right thumb. So, it commands dial controls for the shutter and aperture settings and both ambient and flash exposure. In playback mode, the command dial uh, lets you rapidly scroll, scroll the previously captured images. Usually, itong command dial, sometimes ito na yung plus mode or parang or minus mode. Yung papunta sa next, papunta dun sa uh, preceding, ganyan lang siya. Or pwede yung pang zoom in, pang zoom out nila. Yan yung command dial nila. And syempre, menu button. Dito nyo makita yung pinaka-settings. Okay, for example, ginawa mo aperture priority doon. Dito mo makita yan. So, yung mga image quality mo. Yan. So, the menu button below the playback button. This button displays or dismisses the LCD menu system. Dito mo nakikita yung kung ano ang pinipindot mong settings. Yan. So, parts of the camera. Konti na lang. Bear with it. O, panoorin na lang natin to. pinakamaliit niya, yung maliit na parang gray dito, sa left side. Okay, yan yung pinaka-lock at saka open ng uh, ng memory card. Okay, kasi uh, meron kasi, meron ako estudyante nun, nung face-to-face, -face. nilagay niya yung memory card sa mismong digital camera or DSLR. Sabi niya, hindi daw nagtitake ng picture. Sabi ko, imposible. Nung tinignan ko ang memory card, eh, naka-down pala. So, therefore, naka-close siya. So, uh, ina-adjust lang yan is either kung ano yung settings niya, if either mag-down or up siya para ma-open. So, ito yung pinaka-adjuster niya. Let's continue. <music>
tanong ako, ano nga ang tawag dun sa part ng camera wherein pwede nating ilagay yung flash? Ha? What do you call it? Yung parang bakal? Sa top ng camera? What do you call it? We called it as hot shoe. Diba? Hot shoe. Doon natin minamount yung mesmong uh, flash unit. Yan. So, paunti-unti niya nagiging exciting na yung photography natin kasi after you learn about this, uh, papupunta tayo sa mga mechanics niya. Yung kung paano talaga gamitin ang camera and you will enjoy that one. So, let's go now with... Ito, mabilisan lang naman to, uh, parts of the uh, digital camera, yung mga buttons niya. Let's watch this one. This video introduces the names and functions of the parts of the Nikon Z50. These controls are on the top of the camera. These controls are on the front of the camera. These controls are on the back of the camera. These connectors can be found on the side of the camera. Tapping the DISP button cycles through these displays. The playback zoom in and playback zoom out thumbnail Help buttons can be used to zoom in and out. Use the monitor mode button to cycle through the three monitor modes. In the default automatic display switch mode, the eye sensor switches the display from the monitor to the viewfinder when you put your eye to the viewfinder and switches back to the monitor from the viewfinder when you take your eye away. Viewfinder focus can be adjusted by rotating the diopter adjustment control. To raise the flash, Slide the flash pop-up control. The monitor can be tilted as shown. Some of the digital cam uh, DSLR camera can be tilted, but the other ones are not mounted. They are not mounted. Rotating the monitor 180 degrees selects self-portrait mode. When framing shots in self-portrait mode, you can choose a shutter release delay and the number of pictures taken. are just the parts of the modern uh, DSLR. Yan. So, advantages of digital camera. So, ano ba yung advantages ng digital camera? So, instant review of pictures. Hindi ka tulad sa film. Malay mo, nag-take ka pala, nag-shot nag ka ng picture sa crime scene. Tapos, sira pala yung film mo. So, back to zero ka. Hindi ka tulad kapag digital camera ang gamit mo, makikita mo na kung tama o mali ang tinitake mong pictures. So, there is also a minimal ongoing cost for those wishing to capture hundreds of photographs. Kasi mas mura siya. Kasi, bakit po? Pag bumili ka ng camera na digital, minsanan lang yan eh. Kahit nga cellphone, pwede. Pag sinabi kasi natin digital photography, hindi naman ibig sabihin kailangan DSLR ang gamit mo. 
kahit ano ting na anything na for example camera na cellphone pwede rin po siya it is also considered as digital photography so hindi ka tulad doon kapag analog camera ang ginagamit natin mahal po ang film Okay, tapos ilang shots lang ang pwede, 25, 30 shots. Hindi ka tulad kapag cellphone ang gamit mo or digicam, anong mangyari, kahit 1,000 na photos pa, okay lang. And then, another advantages is permanent storage on digital media is considerably cheaper than film. Diba? Uh, pwede mo siyang store kahit saan. Uh, photos may be copied from one digital medium to another. Pwede mo siyang uh, pagpasapasahin lang kahit saan. Mabilisan lang. Hindi ka tulad kapag film. Kailangan paprint mo muna siyang madami. We also have pictures need to be not to be scanned before viewing on a computer. Kapag lalagay mo siya sa computer, kasi dahil soft copy naman siya, ilagay mo lang sa cable, automatically makita mo na sa computer. Hindi ka tulad kapag analog camera, kailangan i-print muna siya. Kapag na-print na, i-scan muna nila bago nila ilagay sa computer. Then, ability to print photos using a computer and consumer grade printer. Pwede ka mag-print ng photos as long, as much as you can. Hanggang ilan mo gusto. Hindi ka tulad kapag sa analog camera, eh, kailangan gagamit ka muna ng chemical processing. Ability to embed metadata within the image file. Diba? Ability to capture and store hundreds of photographs on the same media device, kahit isa lang yung camera mo. It includes automatic, diba? out connector or AV out connector, and cable to allow the reviewing of photographs to an audience using television. Diba? Pwede mo nang ilagay yan automatically. And then, ability to use the same device to capture video as well as still images. Yun ang pinakamaganda sa digital camera. Kasi we can use the video as an, alin, as an evidence. And also, ability to convert the same photo from color to sepia to black and white. You can edit. Diba? Yun lang ang pinaang pangit ng digital camera eh, when it comes to crime scene photography, forensic photography. Minsan, naku-question siya doon sa mismong originality niya and kung hindi ba siya na-edit or what. Yun lang. Kasi kapag ginamit naman nila is analog camera, mabagal nga, matagal, makos. Pero sure ka na hindi siya na-edit. Diba? Kasi ang hirap mong mag-edit na dahil film nga ang gawa niya. Then, Uh, next slide tayo. Yan. Analog versus digital. I-compare natin. Ang analog camera, there is a delay. In the speed of response, in analog camera, there is a delay. In digital, shutter delay differs from camera to camera. So, predictability, image is not immediately visible. Di ba, hindi mo siya agad makikita dun sa mismong LCD. Sa digital, meron ka munang preview. Sa analog, the cost of purchase, less expensive. Sa digital, expensive. Kaya lang nila nasabing expensive yung sa digital. Kasi nga, mahal yung mga DSLR. ba diba? Yun lang. And then, you also have viewing with viewfinder. Yan. Sa digital, you also have LCD display. Meron din naman at viewfinder ang ating digital. Cost of operation, processing, and associated darkroom expenditures. Few costs involved. Kapag piniprint na, Mahal yung sa analog camera kasi meron mo ng chemical process, yung mga photographic papers mo, yung mga film mo. Sa digital, kahit print lang ng computer, okay lang. ba diba? Sa sound, sa analog, pareho lang sila with sound. Pwede mo naman kasi lagyan ng sound yung digital. Sa battery life, yan, same does not need a battery at all. Sometimes, yung mga analog, walang battery. And then, digital, kailangan meron talagang battery yan. Long exposures, it can handle exposures up to hours without any problems. Sa digital naman, sensor has problems handling long exposure. Yun lang kinagandahan ng analog camera. Alam nyo ba, sa analog camera, pwede mo siyang iwanan ng isang buong magdamag na araw na naka-open. Tapos, makakatake ka ng capture overnight. Yan. Sa storage naman, sa analog, can potentially last hundreds of years kasi nga it is made of film. Sa digital, uh, doubtful sila kasi pwedeng madilit, pwedeng makorap. Yun lang. Yan. Types of digital camera. So, yung pinag-usapan natin kanina is DSLR or yung digital single lens reflex cameras. It behaves like their film-based counterparts with the same body but with different electronics on the inside. Kamukha lang din to ng analog na 35mm film SLR camera. So, 
we can also consider our camera phones as a digital camera. So, these are the cameras built right into the phone na meron kayo lahat. It has zoom ability also. Some even come with flash or light source, syempre. They are usually shipped with software and cables that enable you to download your photographs onto your computer. Napakadali, di ba? Meron din tayong compact cameras. Ito yung mga digicam na maliit lang. Nagkaroon na ba kayo ng ganun? Di ba? Yun yung nung nauso ng mga year 2009, ganyan, uh, 2010, ganyan. Iso yung mga digicam na yun, di ba? Maliit lang silang ganyan, nabubulsa mo. So, far more popular, it has an LCD screen to compose and review your photographs which enables you to compose your picture uh, using both eyes. So, navigation buttons next to the screen allowing you to bring up any picture you have taken. Zoom in to ensure it's focused, erase it, or review tiny thumbnails or each of your images. Modes can be set up. Yun yung mga compact cameras. Built-in agad yung mismong lens niya, yung maliit lang. I remember the days na nauso na yan nung high school kami. Then, we also have this one, videography. Yan. Yan ang kinagandahan ng digital. We can uh, use the, the videography. So, when you say videography, it refers to the process of capturing moving images, moving or motion nga, on electronic media. The term includes methods of electronic production and post-production. It is the equivalent of cinematography but with images recorded on electronic media instead of film stock. So, it covers many more fields than just shooting video with a camera, including the digital anim animation, gaming, web streaming, video blogging, and etc. So, what are the advantages of videography? Video gives immediate results without the need of processing. Yan. Video can be used more than once simply by recording over previous recordings. And visual movements allow the viewer to accurately perceive the scene as it is shown. Sound may be included. The question is, ma'am, ginagamit po ba yung videography as an evidence in the court? The answer is yes. Lalo na po ngayon. So, sa ngayon, yung iba, af, uh, habang pinipicturean nila yung crime scene, Okay, ginagamit na din po nila yung videography in a recording the crime scene para makita talaga nila kung ano ang nangyari within that uh, crime scene. So, yun ang kinagandahan ng advancement of the technology when it comes with the photography. So, we can um, accurately represent on what is on the crime scene. Diba? Mapapakita natin sa kanila yung Totoo. So, ma'am, meron po bang batas that will accept those digital um, evidences? Yes, which is uh, pag-aaralan naman natin sa finals. Okay. So, sa ngayon, ang pinag-aaralan natin is the mechanicals or the mechanics or the technicalities in the camera. So, do you have any question? Ha? Huh? May tanong ba kayo? Wala na po, ma'am. Okay, punta lang tayo dito sa mismong uh, activity nyo. Okay, again, ang gagawin nyo is ita-download nyo lang siya. ba Yung uh, lab activity number 7 and 8. So, ang gagawin lang is, simple lang naman po siya eh. So, ang deadline nito, next, next week pa. Diba, normally ang ginagawa ko, one week ang panugid nyo. So, ngayon, two weeks dahil nga prelim examination. So, ang gagawin dito, i-download lang siya. And then, so, as you can see, ayan, analog camera, magdo-drawing kayo dito. 2D. Okay, parang yung kanina pinakita ko sa PowerPoint. 2D. This is the front of the analog and then the back of the analog camera. And then, anong gagawin? Ka-drawing nyo, you are going to explain the parts and functions of the analog camera. Ganon din po sa digital camera natin. Ito drawing and then i-explain through video. Anong gagawin, ma'am? Pwede pong i-upload again ang video nyo sa FB, sa YouTube, sa Drive, and then lagay lang yung link dito. Huwag po kayong magsisend sa akin ng video. Ano? Okay lang magsend sa akin ng pinaka-video. Kung... Sinabi niyo sa mismong uh, lab activity niyo, ma'am, sinen ko na lang po yung video sa messenger. Tatanggapin ko. Ganun. Pero as much as possible, lagay niyo na lang yung link. Ganun lang siya. Okay. Ma'am. Yes, what is your question? 
Kahit na private po yung video. Tapos copy na lang. Yes, yun. pwede naman yung naka-private. Basta makikita ko ano. Baka sa naman kasi na-click ko siya tapos hindi ko mapanood. Okay. Pa- paano yung gagawin sa Labate, ma'am? Pwede pa ulit po. Salamat po. Sa Lab Activity Number 8, pareho lang to. Ito, analog camera. Yung, kani- yung sa Lab Activity Number 8 naman, digital. Explain din po, ma'am. Yes, i explain din. Kung anong ginawa nyo sa analog camera, ganun din ang gagawin nyo sa digital. So, you have two weeks to do this one. Do you have any questions pa ba? Ma'am, paano po pag nakalimutan po yung video, yung parang nakalimutan po ilagay sa link, pwede po ba isend sa inyo? Paanong nakalimutan? Yung mga previews? Uh, yes, ma'am. Yung, yung ano lang, ma'am, yung video lang po nakalimutan ilagay sa ano, yung link po. Pwede naman i-ano eh, i-type nyo. Kung naka-close na yan, okay, kung naka-close na yung mga yan, ang gagawin nyo na lang is i-message nyo ako after prelims. Kasi after prelims yan, ang gagawin ko, katulad ng dating gawi ko na, is nagme-message ako after ng prelim examination na kung sino man yung may miss activities, miss quizzes, with excuses, ayan, or tapos yan, katulad nung sa'yo, meron kang nakalimutan, pwede ko, ipa-open ko nun. So therefore, ipapa-upload ko siya nun doon sa'yo. So, Salamat i-message nyo ako after prelim. So, hintayin nyo yung announcement ko kasi ganun naman ang ginagawa ko. Okay? Pero kung for example, meron kang miss quizzes pero dahil nakalimutan mo lang, walang, wala kang dahilan, hindi ko i-open yun. With valid excuses ako. Okay? Ganun lang. Do you have any questions pa ba? Meron pa po bang questions? So, I will stop this recording na.